several years ago, back in late 2001, our cat, one of our cats, captured a baby bird. And this was the bird. You could see it was all torn up from the struggle. Its wings are shredded there. There's hardly any, any feathers left. Uh, we heard the birds just shrieking out, out the front door, and I went and I wondered what it was, and I opened the door, and the cat walked into the house, and I saw this little bird there, and I reached over and picked it up, and I could feel its heart beating in my hand, and I realized that it was still alive. So we brought it into the house, and, and um, I decided to try to, to save it, and I went down to the pet store and got some baby bird formula, which they sell at the pet store, and we fed it with an eyedropper. And in just a few weeks, his wings grew back, and he um, got pretty healthy, and he actually learned to fly. And we just let him fly around the house. He would stay in a box in our office, and I would come home from work, and he would fly across the room and land in my hand. He was very, very tame. A really nice little bird. We named him Buddy. And he would just sit there. He would sit on my arm while I was working at the computer. And my wife was a school teacher, and we took him to school, and the kids got to hold him and pet him. And they wrote poems about him and read poems to him. And we eventually let him go. We took him to a lady who rehabilitates birds and reintroduces them to the wild in an appropriate manner. So he's still out there flying around somewhere. But the amazing thing here is how lightweight the bird was. This is a picture of my wife holding him. And when you held the bird, he weighed almost nothing. It was like you were just holding nothing. Birds are incredibly lightweight. In fact, they even have hollow bones because they want to have very low weight because that helps them fly. The heavier they are, the harder it is to fly. So their being lightweight aids in flight. Birds weigh very little for their size. The term we use is density. We say that birds aren't very dense. They have a low density. And it's for this reason birds not only fly more easily, they also float more easily. Birds can sit on the water. I'll try to draw a duck here in the water. So maybe a duck looks something like that. Um, that's not really a great picture of a duck, but you get the idea. The point here is that not much of the duck is below the water. Most of the duck is up above the water line. A duck floats very high on the water. He doesn't sink very far into the water because he's not very heavy for his size. And this is very different from a person. As you swim, you know that you are mostly below the water. And just to keep your head above the water, you have to kick and paddle with your hands. You float mostly below the water because you're much more dense than a duck. And whether something will float or not is determined by its density. So that's the first thing we'll discuss in this section, density.